What am I doing when I'm trying to communicate with you? I have an idea or a memory or an experience or a state of consciousness or some information that I want to get across to you. And I want to have a copy of the information in my head lined up in your head. How do we do that? We take a language that we both understand and I encode my thoughts into the language. The language is not the same as the thought. It's a code. When I say dog, everyone thinks of a dog, four-footed furry animal, and all the qualities of a dog and so on. Why? Is the word dog equivalent to a dog? No. Although you have been taught that in school. If, if somebody asks, what's a four-footed a furry beast of the best friend of mankind? Oh, D-O-G. And you write that in on your test, then you get approval for that. But no. Knowing a dog, having a dog for a pet, living with a dog, and so on. I should have used a cat. That would be a better example. <laughs> I like cats a lot more. Living with a cat is a whole different experience than simply knowing about cats. So if I say the word cat, it means I'm thinking of a cat, and I've encoded that thought in a word. Now, I'm going to speak that word, cat. It goes across to you. You hear it in your ear. It goes into your brain, and you decode it into what you know of cats, into your experience of cats. Your experience might be completely different from mine. Maybe you had some mangy old alley cat who gave you fleas. Huh? I have a pet lion. <laughs> so my, differ my different experience of cats is going to give me a completely different idea. And when I say cat, the general word cat, that gives me a different impression, a different idea, a different concept than a person who only knows house cats, for example. Uh, or uh, one time in India, I ran into a wild cat in the mountains. Now, this is a cat, but it's not like a cat that most people know. So my idea of cats is probably a lot bigger than most people's idea of cats. My experience with cats is a lot bigger than most people's experience, too. So when I say cat, I have a different meaning than most people will have when they decode that word into their own experience. So that's why we need to make such detailed explanations of everything. Because every single word we use is defined in a particular way according to our intentions. And in order for you to get what we're talking about, the same idea has to come up in your mind when you decode what we say. That means we have to qualify everything. We have to be very careful about the words we use so that you can get the exact same idea that we have. This is called duplication. And it is the principle of communication that we use to impart this teaching.